everybody, and welcome to another episode of West Wonders. Now, before I get to what I'm wondering about today, I'd like to share a couple of comments on past episodes by a few of our viewers. If you watched the video that I did, uh, which was asking the best way to charge for remote office printing in 2021, one thing I had considered was the impact on offices themselves long term. And uh, thanks to Paul uh, Kirkio from uh, Edmonton in Canada, who said that he suspects close to 50% of people will never return to the office. The reason being that driving an hour to work in a congested highway to get to a cubicle to drive home for an hour to get your kids ready for soccer will never be favorable again. And the second comment I have today comes from Edwin Jogsma all the way from the Netherlands. And this one was regarding the episode I was asking. And if you don't understand what I'm going to say, you're going to have to watch the episode. But what do sharks and koalas have to do with my business? And instead of a black and white answer, Edwin said, how about koalas? with a shark character. All right, so what is West wondering today? West is wondering, why do we still use passwords? So here are some statistics, uh, which I think are quite alarming. At least 65% of people reuse passwords across multiple sites. In other words, use one password for many different things. About 80% of data breaches in 2019 were caused by password compromise, 80%. In 2019, 42% of companies were breached by a bad password. And unfortunately, 48% of workers use the same passwords in both their personal and their work accounts. Now, what is going to replace the password? Is the password going to be replaced? So one of the uh, most famous incidents I think that we saw this year was when Donald Trump's Twitter account was hacked and allegedly uh, someone simply on their fifth try entered MAGA 2020 and it worked. So clearly humans and passwords uh, simply don't work well together. There are ways uh, to fix that, obviously. Um, using a password passphrase is an interesting one that I learned from one of my contacts in the technology services world. So the idea being that instead of a word or two words that you have a, a phrase. So maybe I prefer Cheerios to Shreddies or Wes Wonders 2020. No, we're not gonna use that one. The other method uh, that I looked at was uh, two-step authentication methods, so essentially uh, instead of just using your password, you're going to get a code uh, that you then have to input to be able to verify and validate yourself. And the third option, which I found kind of neat, and this is one I just learned about today, was codeless two-factor authentication. So Google has a version of this, which is driven by an app. Uh, so there are, there are no codes involved in the two steps at all. And I think um, that uh, Apple also has a similar thing, although it's not an app base, it's actually built into the iOS. So the question that I have today is, is the password dead? And if so, which of these methods uh, are going to be the best ones that we can use to help people as we continue to have more and more people working out of home offices? So I'm looking forward to your comments because I'm wondering, is the password going to be replaced? Is it dead? And if so, what will it be replaced by? And hey, everybody, don't forget, if you like what you see, head over to my YouTube channel. You can see the link down below if you're watching this on LinkedIn. And make sure you subscribe. Thank you for tuning in. And until next time, keep wondering.